So we call this the Goldilocks principle. Just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, if you have, if the porridge is too hot or too cold, you have a problem. You want it to be just right. Angiogenesis is the process our bodies use to grow blood vessels. It's actually a critical uh, process because every cell and organ in our body needs to have oxygen, and that's what blood vessels do. They bring the oxygen that we breathe in and they deliver it to all of our cells so we can stay alive and healthy. The process of blood vessel growth is really important because the average human body has 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels. That's so extensive that if you were to pull them out of the body, the blood vessels would line up and form a thread that would encircle the earth twice. Now, the smallest blood vessels are actually called capillaries. These are finer than a single human hair. So if you've ever tried to look in, uh, at a comb or a brush for a hair, there are 19 billion of those tiny little feeder blood vessels that are in our body. So what angiogenesis is, is a process of growing these feeder blood vessels to keep us alive. Now what we've discovered is that this is a defense system in the body that allows us to stay healthy. Meaning that we, when we have just the right number of blood vessels, not too many and not too few, then the just right amount of blood vessels allows us to grow up, be healthy, uh, develop our brains, uh, go on to live healthy lives, uh, and all, all the way through uh, old age. On the other hand, when there are problems in balancing angiogenesis, we have either too many blood vessels or not enough. So we call this the Goldilocks principle. Just like Goldilocks and the three bears, if you have, if the porridge is too hot or too cold, you have a problem. You want it to be just right. And when the angiogenesis system is either too many or too few, what winds up happening is that uh, it causes chaos in the body. Too many blood vessels can bleed, destroy tissues, feed cancers, feed cells that cause fat to grow and cause obesity. Too few blood vessels and tissues won't survive and they'll die. And so the important implication of angiogenesis is that this is a common denominator in not only health, but it's also a common denominator in disease.